Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Come on in. Welcome. Join me for tonight's menu. Hi, Willie. <laughs> so tonight's menu, we are um, we're gonna do a little casserole. Now, full confession about the casserole thing. I hate casseroles, but for the purpose of just making sure we have a good dinner for tonight and a little something for tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna do it. All right. So uh, welcome. This Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Sugarpearlsonline.com. And you can also watch videos on my YouTube channel, which is Sugar Pearls, just like that. S U G A R P E A R L apostrophe S and Instagram at at Sugar Pearls underscore online. Are you ready? Let's get ready. It's going to be a quick, simple casserole menu tonight. All right, so let's get into it. So we're doing a, a zucchini and mushroom casserole with a, hey Calvin, <laughs> with a cream sauce. Now, I started the cream sauce already. Um, yes, there is butter and heavy cream and Parmesan. I started it with a little bit of chicken stock, then added the butter and heavy cream, salt, all that stuff so now I got a, um, let me just and it's been sitting here just so I've got a beautiful cream sauce here there's some garlic chunks chunks of garlic in there so if you see little chunks coming out then that's what that is yeah and I finished it off with some olive oil so the first thing I'm going to do for the zucchini, hey everybody, mwah, mwah, mwah. love you all, thank you so much, Tammy, Kilo, welcome, thank you, thank you, let me get myself out the fridge, okay, we're going to get started, alright, here we go, so we've got the zucchini that I sliced up, about yay thick, not too thin, because i when I put it in the casserole, I, I kind of wanted to the tooth a little bit. And what I have here is a cold casserole dish that I went around with some cold butter in and some Parmesan cheese. So there's Parmesan cheese that is coating the bottom of this casserole dish. All right, so I'm just going to set that to the side until I'm ready to assemble everything. All right, so I've got zucchini already sliced up. I've got mushrooms already sliced. I'm going to slice up this red onion. Ooh, get that out of there. Red onion, and uh, we're going to get to cooking good looking. Yes. All right, uh, here we go. All right, so first, hey, Jamal. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> That's my mom. I can't believe... Mom, you know I love you for watching my show now. <laughs> Alright, so let's slice up. So this is a menu that is for you fake vegetarians. Yes. For those of you that are not quite with the whole vegetarian thing but want to pretend like you are. I know. So you can't call it a complete vegan meal because I use heavy cream which is from a cow. I'm using cheese uh, from a cow. Like, um, so there we go. All right, so let me, let me clean this onion up and then we're gonna get this sliced so we can get it sauteed and put into our casserole. Okay, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Clean this up just a little bit more. Welcome everybody. Thank you. So, hey, Marietta. 
So all I'm going to do is just kind of slice, thin slice this red onion. This is going to be one of the layers of my casserole. Now, if you would like to add a protein to your casserole, you can add like um, a chicken breast that you kind of hammer down with a mallet real good and so that it's nice and flat and then lay it make it one of the layers of your casserole in this case i'm i'm not really going to put a protein in it i thought about even doing some bacon bits in the casserole but i'm not sure i think i just want to keep it green I, you know so we'll see all right so that goes on the ooh <laughs> that goes on the griddle we're going to get these onion saute and then we're going to put our zucchini on there to get it sauteed now the key is not to get it so sauteed that it's all mushy and nasty we don't we don't want that we still want a little bit of bite to the veggies okay so I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more and get that to cooking Ooh. I'll show you in just a little bit let me um let me get these on here first I love squash and I especially love zucchini. So tonight is my ode to the zucchini squash. There you go, right? I know, right? Not so bad. Not so bad at all. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Mm, I hope you guys have been having a great, is this the first full week after our new year? In any case, welcome, if I haven't said it already, welcome to 2020, welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, yes, I'm still doing it, I'm still doing it, cooking in my happy place. And the website, again, is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Instagram is at sugarpearls underscore online. And YouTube is sugarpearls. That's it. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Okay, here we go. So I want to get just a little bit of browning going on the zucchini. Alright, I don't want to cook it to death, but I want to, I want some color on it. So let me just show you what's happening here. Okay, let me turn, 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 be patient with me. You know, I don't have a crew yet, so I gotta, I gotta make it do what it do. But this is what's happening. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. I've got these turned all the way up. I'm going to pull those onions off in just a little bit. That takes a little less time than the zucchini does. So I'll be pulling that off first. Until I can get a nice, beautiful color on the other side of that zucchini. Alright, so here we go. Crank that up. I'm going to pull the zucchini off. Put that there. Now, <laughs> when I did the promo for this, and I said that this was going to be a, a casserole dish for tonight, I know. I know, a few of you like kind of snubbed your nose at the fact that this is the casserole. I know, 
every time I think of a casserole or think about having a casserole, I think about my days at Stillman College uh, when we would go around singing at these Presbyterian churches across the country. And I kid you not, nearly every church, Presbyterian church, uh, across the country when I was at Stillman, they had some, some sort of casserole. And I swear, at least once or twice or thrice, there was a turkey tetrazzini or something. Yeah, let me tell you. After a while, that got a little bit, mm, you know what I mean. But hopefully, this is going to be a, a little more pleasing to your palate. It's not, a, it's not a meat casserole, but if you'd like to add meat, some sort of protein, then by all means, honey, do it. Do it, do it, do it. No one will blame you if you do. I'm going to try to keep this kind of green. Without, I, I bought bacon bits that I was going to put in the oven and like layer some bacon bits on the inside of the casserole. But I, I think I'm just going to leave it. Let me just leave it. So what you want on your zucchini, I'm going to show you. Be patient. This is what you want it to look like, okay? Boom. Boom. See? Got some browning going on there. And I'm going to turn it off. Because what I don't want is a really soggy, nasty zucchini. Okay? Turn that off. Let it set. Leave it alone. Got my onions there. Okay. Now, this is for my casserole. So for the casserole, I have a nice um, oven safe casserole dish and I took a stick of cold butter. Hey Rochella, hey Monique, <laughs> hey everybody, hey Jeanette, how y'all doing? Thank you, thank you for tuning in, yes, my people. <laughs> And after I took that stick of cold butter and went around my casserole dish, I took some Parmesan cheese, the really fine grated kind, and just layered it in there because that's going to be the base for my zucchini. Now I've got the zucchini off and I'm going to start to layer. Are you ready? I know, this isn't your, your, your regular Shemegula Carolina meal here, but if you want to feel like you're doing something right at the beginning of the year, eating some veggies, getting them in your system, then this is going to make you feel real good. It's not completely healthy, but uh, you might feel good about what you're doing. Okay? Okay. So now I'm just going to layer my zucchini. I'll layer it and then I'll show you what it looks like after I've layered it, okay? Uh, I should probably spread that out. Just to try to get the zucchini spread out as evenly as possible. Now, you've got a cream sauce that I made ahead of time, all right? So, make your cream sauce ahead of time. Everybody, um, people make their cream sauces different. Um, I happen to use just a little bit of butter, some olive oil, salt, some heavy cream, and um, Parmesan cheese in my cream sauce. Now you've got one layer of zucchini at the bottom of your casserole dish, alright? After that, you want to go in with your mushrooms. Okay, so... Now these mushrooms, I seasoned them earlier so the seasoning went all the way through. I didn't even put it on the griddle. It's going to continue to cook inside the oven with the casserole. Alright, here we go. So we're just going to do a thin layer of mushroom. 
on top of that. Not a whole lot. You don't want it super thick yet because remember, you're going to go inside of that with some cream sauce. After you do the mushroom, then you're going to hit it with some red onion, thin layer of red onion, and boom, bam, boom. Okay? Now, for the cream sauce. Do not drown it in cream sauce. You just want a little bit of a layer. Because you're going to go over it with one more layer of this cream sauce. So you don't need it super, super creamy for the first layer. See that? There, that looks ready to eat right now. Let me tell you. That right there is looking and smelling so good with that Parmesan. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, one more layer of zucchini, mushroom, onion, and then we're going to top it off, stick it in the oven. Okay? Alright, here we go. Zucchini. Which, which is just a, a green squash. So, don't be afraid of the zucchini. It is your friend. And it is delicious. Uh, and this time of year, it is super cheap. So you can get zucchini and be um, balling on a budget with all of the deliciousness that goes with it. Okay? I'm telling you, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Little layer of mushroom there. Okay, now, before I hit this with the, oh, no, I got my, my last little bit of onion. I want to stick that in there. Let me tell you, if you want to break from the macaroni and cheese, this is a good way to do it and get kids to eat their vegetables. I don't, maybe, maybe your kids have a sophisticated palate. Maybe if they like mushrooms and, and zucchini and Parmesan cheese, I don't know. Maybe they would, maybe they would not. But it, it's an alternative to the mac and cheese. All right. Now, before I do that, I bought these ooh, sun dried tomatoes. Honey, let me tell you. I love some sun-dried tomatoes. When they're dried like this, you get the nice... Let me just show you. I was supposed to put that in the other layer, but that's alright. I'm going to just do one layer. See that? Okay, so we're going to put that on this top here. Alright, so let's get... Who is that sending a heart? Y'all love sun-dried tomatoes too? I'm telling you, they're delicious. <laughs> Yes, yes, but tell them the mushrooms are chicken. <laughs> Viva, tell them the mushrooms are chicken. You know, and when it comes to eating vegetables, lie to your kids. Lie to them. Yes. Oh, 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 look at that. I know, right? Isn't that beautiful? So that's your Parmesan cheese layer on the bottom. Then you've got your zucchini, your sauteed, sauteed zucchini, your sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions. Again, with the zucchini, mushrooms, onions, and then topped with some sun-dried tomatoes. But honey, we're not done. Uh-uh. No, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, just... Hold on. Be, let, let me. Hold on. Be patient. Uh 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 uh. Where in the world? Okay, here we go. I had some other stuff I was gonna put in there, but apparently it wasn't meant to be. Now I got some chives today. I'm gonna chop up these chives, and that is. I think I'm going to just make the chives 
part of my top layer. You know what? I'm, I love chives, so I may just, I may, I may hit them with the ha a couple of times with the chives, honey. Yes, hit them with the ha. Look, boom. Mm-hmm. You can thank me later. That's okay. I know. I know. <laughs> hey, Miss Ruth. <laughs> it is very colorful, Thomas. It is. Y'all know, like my mother says, Miss Ethel Isaac, who is watching right now, you eat with your eyes first. So my food has got to have some color. It's got to be beautiful. What I found today was some um, Havarti cheese slices. Now, if you have not had Havarti cheese, I encourage you to try it this weekend. Havarti is it's a kind of a smoky, nutty type cheese. And it when it melts, it melts really smooth and creamy, right? And it doesn't overpower what the cheese is inside of. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this with a little Havarti on top. Boom, bam, boom. I'm going to do one over here. Boom. And I'm going to do one right here. And I think I need another one in the middle. Because, ooh, because I want to. Yes. Ain't no rhyme or reason. You can layer it however you want. I'm just showing you how I do it because it's my right oh no i need to do another thing um hold on one more one more cream sauce all right so i got my parmesan cream sauce going down boom now i'm gonna put that back on there okay we're gonna act like the, the first thing didn't happen okay all right, you you with me? You are with me. I'm so glad y'all are family. Otherwise, this could be a disaster tonight. All right, so we got that. Let us go ahead and oh, top it off. So this is gonna top off my casserole. Got my Harvardi cheese layered there. I should have done some in the middle, but I did not. It's okay. We're not going to fret about it. We're going to put some Parmesan in the bowl. And we're going to do a little panko breadcrumbs in the bowl. Plain. No, no flavor. Just, just plain. Because you already flavored everything else that's inside your uh, casserole. So now I'm going to make sure that the Parmesan cheese and the panko breadcrumbs are incorporated fully by just using my hands, honey, and layering that right on top of everything. Okay? I'm going to do some more. Chives. There we go. And sprinkle those chives right there on top. That's going to melt down in it. Okay? So now that I've got everything going, I'm going to stick that in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes or so until it gets nice and melted. Now everything inside that casserole is already cooked. So there's no need to really just cook, cook everything else again, all right? But we do wanna make sure that the cream and the cheese and everything is melted together really nicely. So I'm gonna let that go for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna hang out with you for a minute while that happens, okay? Hang on. Let me clean my area, put some of these things away, and get grooving. All right. Oh. Yes. What a week. 
feel like I'm saying that all the time, but I, I tell you, these, these days and these weeks, they just seem to be <laughs> never ending. <laughs> but we're here, right? We are here in full effect. Uh, and the best thing about it is we get a chance to try and make it right one more time, right? Viva, what did you say? Give me a scoop. Kathy, hey, Kat, that's my homegirl right there from Allenbrook, Kathy Woodard. What? <laughs> Look, Viva's like, what are we? <laughs> Honey, don't we know? It, it, it's been one heck of a week. Um... But I'm grateful. Despite my complaints, I've had a few. Nobody cared. But I had them nonetheless. And um, it, it's just good to still be here and, and um, try to get this life thing right. You know. So I have really been um, thinking more about, you know, especially since the beginning of the year. You know, we talked last last time, you know, about how some people have resolutions and the fact that I don't have, I just don't do that. Rather, I just try to um, make it better than the day or week or month better than before um but there is something that i have been contemplating not so much contemplating but really um trying to devise a strategy about uh, when it comes to myself and my business and um Uh, how do I say this? So, this week has, has really left on my brain this. And I'm going to share this with you. And I hope that you will uh, take it with you. Use it however you want to take it. However you want to use it. Um, the people that you um, surround yourself with that you have in your corner is that Tara Tony Williams happy birthday Tara Tony Williams that's my cousin I think it's your birthday today or was it yesterday if it was yesterday I'm sorry <laughs> forgive me forgive me <laughs> Yeah, so um, I, I work with a lot of wonderful men and women, but especially women, especially black women, um, who have phenomenal gifts, who just make a living out of making something out of nothing. And are turning it into their life's work. <laughs> and what I found is that um, I really, I thrive. <laughs> Viva is messing me up. What is, make sure those people are circles and not triangles and not squares. <laughs> We all got some squares in our truck. <laughs> it is today. Happy birthday, Tara. I, I hope that it was special for you and, and someone did something special for you. Um, you are truly deserving. Um, yeah. I talked a lot about making sure that you've got people in the stands cheering for you when when you're 
going for the win. Whatever your win is. Now that doesn't mean you've got some some yes men and some yes women just telling you what you want to hear. But people that are really there who are concerned about what it is that you are doing for the greater good. So that <laughs> so that you just aren't out here just doing things willy-nilly. But that you've got people who can say, you know what, that's a great idea. Have you thought about this? My girlfriend yesterday to me, Viva, I'm just going to say it, Viva said to me yesterday, because uh, we were talking about iron sharpening iron. And when we have, now this ain't iron, but if I had um, some iron against another iron. Now, now these two knives may not sharpen one another, but if I had a, a nice piece of iron against one of these blades, that would really give it a nice edge, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it would. So it's important that you make sure you have someone even if it ain't a whole tribe, but it, at least you got somebody in your camp that can sharpen your blade. That can say, you know what, that's a good idea, but what about this? Or maybe you should think about it this way. That's so important. And I'm so grateful and so thankful that I have that. And, and I've got people who can check me um, when, when I feel kind of, uh, like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm not sure if it's the right thing. You know, we spent so much time listening to all of these prolific authors and dynamic preachers of the world, the T.D. Jakes and, and uh, whoever is dynamic to you, Jeff, you know. Um, but remember, if God can give them a word, God can give you a word too. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I'm just saying. Like, we, we put people in a category that allows us to think that um, certain people are so much more in tune to God's voice. But God is also talking to you. He's talking to you too. Just listen. Shut up. Listen, stop talking sometimes and listen. He can give you that same word. That's all I wanted to say. That's all. I'm going to wait for my casserole to finish cooking. And um, I just wanted to remind you to listen for the voice. Make sure that you are using your voice and make sure that the things that you want the things that you have prayed for are in line with the things that he wants for you oh because sometimes the things that we want don't line up and that's when we get this uneasy feeling and you know, we start to feel like, oh God, things, you know, yes, things, not everything is going to be easy. Sometimes pain is a necessary uh, motion toward progress. Sometimes it is. But you too, you too. are a 
allowed to hear his voice. So, I guess that's really all I wanted to say to you. There's, there's not much more than that. Uh, I've got the oven on 350, in case you were wondering. Yes, nothing is burning. The casserole is doing what it's supposed to do, honey. It's on 350, it's in the oven, everything inside the casserole is cooked. I just want everything to become browned and melt together. That's all. We, we just need everything to work together for the good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, that's not another sermon. It could be though. But I ain't going to preach it. <laughs> I'm not going to preach it. That's for sure. All right. So I'm going to save this cream sauce because this is going to make. Oh, that I might put that on some pasta later on this week. Put that up. And uh, we're going to give the casserole another 10 minutes or so <laughs> 10 minutes or so um but i want to hear about you guys enough about me running my mouth and what's been going on and just uh going through the days of this new year how have you been faring? Have you taken the time to just slow down and 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 think about you? And that's not being selfish. That's just being conscious. Have you thought about what you need? Have you been thinking about what you need to do? Because if you've been planning stuff and, and you put out these lofty resolutions for 2020, did you spend this week actually putting some things into motion so that you can get those things off the ground? Or have you just been kind of floating through the week? I ain't here to judge. <laughs> Let me tell you. How have you been doing it? There's a lot going on. Um, I, I mentioned in the last broadcast, you know, my, my family personally has been going through a lot. Illness, death, just turmoil, mental illness. Past hurt. All of that. And, um, and sometimes we just get so used to the pain that we forget we can actually find a healing. So I'm hoping that you've been taking this time to heal from whatever it is, whoever it is. <laughs> Have you been taking that time? Yeah, yeah, Viva, float, float on, the floaters, yes. We float, we float, it's what we do best. We float and we make it look flat. Let me tell you. We put lipstick on it. We, we put on our best outfit. And we float. And we make it look so effortless. And to the point where, where nobody even thinks to offer help to you. Because you look like you don't need it. I don't know who I said that for, but uh, maybe I said it for myself. 
Maybe I said it for me. Yeah. It's okay to raise your hand and be like, oh. Hello. I am Carla. And I'm addicted to pain. Ooh. But we don't do that. We mask it. We make it look okay. Because some so often we're trying to trying to heal other people. So we will um put those band-aids on our own pain to help somebody else. But um eventually, honey. Ooh. Eventually you ain't gonna have enough band-aids. So, what will you do after tonight to heal thyself, doctor? Hmm? Before you try to heal somebody else. Alright. Think about it. Yes. Yes. Putting band-aids on bullet wounds. What in the world? That casserole is almost done. That's my cousin Tahir. Tahir. Hello, Mr. Isaac. Hey, Neil. <laughs> hey, Tara. Thank you guys for tuning in every week again. I'm... I'm telling you, I be like, what's wrong with these people? Don't they have anything else to do on a Friday night at 7 o'clock? <laughs> so thank you because you tune in um, to watch me cook and eat. Of course, this is not a cooking show. I'm cooking. I'm eating, but... I'm not teaching you how to do these things. This is the time for me to... This is this is my therapy. How about that? Okay? This is me on the couch in the therapist's office with some friends. So, thank you for allowing me this opportunity every week. Uh, the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram at Sugar Pearls underscore online. That's it. You can check out a few things that I'll, I'll post from time to time. But this year, I am um, I'm strategizing a few new things. <laughs> yes. And uh, I hope you'll be on board with that. Uh, not really ready to reveal all of that just yet. But when I come out with it, I hope you don't think that it's too far-fetched for you to support. Okay? So I'll, I'll be letting you know in the future very soon. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a, a good Friday night, child. Here we go. Now, let's check on... Oh, so about this casserole. Okay, before I really get... <gasps> Angie! Hey, hey Tara. <laughs> hey, Kendrick. Mwah. So, um, the casserole... Now, as we know about most, do I, I'm, I'm going to save the casserole story for another day. No, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. So the casserole story, <laughs> when we were, um, when I was in college, at Stillman College, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which is a private, uh, an HBCU founded by the Presbyterian Church. We would go around the country singing at all these churches. Now, 
primarily pre pre most Presbyterians that we know are would. Yeah, they white. They we can say it. Come on now, we, they white. Okay, now. <laughs> Now, the thing about these Presbyterian churches is they love casseroles. It just seemed like every white Presbyterian church that we went to had just a smorgasbord of casseroles. You name it, they had it. It was, it was in one casserole dish and you ate we we got so tired of eating casseroles honey we appreciated the hospitality but so to this day i i have a little bit of disdain for a casserole no i do not still have that beautiful voice tamika <laughs> i don't i haven't sung in a long time yeah but wow the casserole Turkey Tetrazzini. Um, that's just the one that I remember. Because it seems like we had it the most. Oh, boy. So, I ain't crazy about a casserole. But the good thing about this casserole here. The zucchini and mushroom and onion and Havarti cheese that you've got. After the second day. When you take it out of the fridge, it's going to slice kind of like a... <laughs> Anita, Anita, you were there. <laughs> Anita remembers. <laughs> I watch Greggy time. <laughs> you remember. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, <laughs> as I was saying, after the second day of, of this dish that you're making that I'm making tonight, when you slice it, it'll slice kind of like a lasagna. And you'll be able to see the, the red sun-dried tomatoes, the white cream cheese, the green zucchini, the purple onion, and all of that stuff. Like, it'll be beautiful layers. And you could just slice a chunk of that, and honey, that's your meal. That is it. You don't even need meat. Some people might need to, but for me, like, I don't have to have meat every day. So, this is good for me. It makes me feel like I'm doing something sort of okay, but all this cream sauce and everything, child, I ain't doing nothing lying to myself. Yes. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna take a look. Ooh, okay. Off. Almost burnt my casserole. <sighs> All right, here we go. This is it, y'all. Now, before I, oh my gosh. Look, look at this. This right here. If you want to take a dish over to a friend's and maybe you don't want to make a macaroni and cheese, but you want something that's kind of cheesy and uh, still leaves people not feeling so guilty about their diet, then this might be the way to go for you. Okay. Now... I should not slice this right now because it's just going to fall apart. But I feel like I need to show you what's inside. Oh. Mmm. I wish you could smell it. Smell. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is awesome. We gonna see, honey, but uh, it it's not gonna slice just right because I'm gonna go behind your head one more time right here. Let me get a little bit of a 
saucer because I'm not going to eat a lot. But this is something I'll be able to kind of snack on uh, today, tomorrow, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> All right. Um, oh my gosh. Ooh, wow. That right there, that Havarti cheese is so creamy. Oh, I'm scared to slice it now, but I, I need to show you what's inside because I can't keep you long, all right? I'm, I'm going to let you go. Um. Oh, the sun-dried tomatoes, honey. <sighs> I got cheese just flowing. Flowing, honey. Oh, my goodness. Like the rivers of running waters flowing. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll take a picture of it after it's gotten kind of solid, and um, I'll post it for you to see. But it, it's a hot mess right now because it all fell apart because it's too hot. Okay, but let me let me taste this masterpiece. Hold on, put that right there for a sec. Let's see. Make sure my oven is off. Cool beans. <laughs> I need some of that. <laughs> Viva, you know I got you, boo. Come on. We're always eating and snacking together. I'll bring you some because you know I'm not going to finish all this by myself. Mmm. First of all, I just need for you to see how beautiful it is. Look at that. The red and the green and the purple and the, the browning from, from the panko breadcrumbs and the cheese and all of that stuff melted together. Honey. <clears throat> now this is a casserole. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I didn't put any meat in this. Now, if you just feel like, you know what, this is a little bit too bougetto for me. And and I can't do this thing that Carla's talking about. I got to stick me some, some grilled chicken up in there or some bacon or something like that. By all means, do that. Y'all, I encourage you to make these recipes your own. You don't have to do it like I do it. Do it the way you want to. I just did it the way I wanted to do it, okay? But if you want some chicken or, or another protein or a shrimp or whatever, put it on up in there. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm going I'm to taste this. I'm, hold on. Okay. So I got a little bit of everything on there. I got some red onions, some mushroom, some zucchini, sun-dried tomato, panko breadcrumb, that Havarti cheese. The best thing about the Havarti is that it's it's not overpowering, right? It's not like a, a Munster or Gouda or something like that. Nothing wrong with those cheeses, but they're really intense on their own. This Havarti, nice and gentle. Just easy breezy. Here we go. Mm. 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 Set it off on the left, y'all. Set it off on the right, y'all. Set it off. 
come on, just set it off. That sun-dried tomato, inside of all of that right there, on the left, on the right, right, on the left, I suggest, while we left, left. Honey, I hope y'all were paying attention to how I made it because I don't write no recipes down. So you need to, that's what I need. I need a, I need a camera operator, a lighting operator, and a recipe writer. Because I gotta start writing this stuff down. This is beautimous. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> My cousin Rose said, bring me a plate of Lynchburg. I don't know if it's going to make it there. I don't know, Ro. Ro. This is one of the meals I'll be on the side of the road eating. Because it's that good. Look, did I show you how pretty it is, though? Look at that. Zucchini. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Just right. Just right. Mmm. It's not salty. It doesn't have too much sauce. I didn't drown it in sauce. So, uh, Tara, you better make it, honey. I know. It's got to be colorful. Because, like I said, like my mother said, you eat with your eyes first. So, that color is going to draw you in, honey. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Family, friends, loved ones. This has been another episode of Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. Thank y'all for joining me and hanging out with me as I make another recipe off the top of my brain. I don't know. But y'all showed up for it. So thank you. Thank you. Remember, the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com or Instagram at sugarpearls underscore online or mm, YouTube sugar pearls S U G A R P E A R L apostrophe S. Mmm, my belly is happy right now, and even with all this cheese that I'm eating, I don't feel so bad about it. Until next time, know that I love you, mm. and I hope you love me back. Bye.